Welcome back to The Last of Us. The sequel to The Last of Us. The Last of Mario. Because I died there. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I feel like there would be a lot of game mods with, like, Ross related. Like the Companion Cube Spring duo, The Last of Ross. Funny. Kind of like. Have his Mario Maker thumbnail face somewhere on the um, main character um, or something. I don't really know. Maybe, maybe make a choo-choo train instead of a helicopter or something. Or that cool 80s version. Or I'm thinking of a completely different game. But I haven't played The Last of Us, so... I could say that's the last of that discussion. Eh. Okay. I mean, probably will pop up again because from blowing up, I threw the spring, and I, I did not really throw anything else. I was trying to think of something clever. I mean, I kicked the bucket. That, that probably has something related. No, no. Okay. Well, let's just run after this. I'm gonna get the coins. Uh, there, there was a lot of like. Pixel VT and stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, I was trying to read the comment and I was like, huh, I got some thinking. Well, I don't know what that can mean. Oh, no, it's one of those uh, blocks that fall after a period of time. And I got. I was probably the only one that died. I mean, like, I walked that Koopa Troopa right in the knocker nose. I don't know why. That's going to go. I was trying to think of a different term for nose, and I was like, Is there a different term for nose? Am I just making something up? If I'm just making something up, then, well, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if not, well, then you can always share, like, Nah, uh, nah, you're not making anything up. You got this. A's okay. Right? Um. Uh, something along those lines of synonyms. We can also use some synonyms of death. I say, uh, death. Eternal rest. Uh, a fight after world pugilist Tommy Ray Handley? Anyone after the Tom, Tommy Ray Handley? I always thought, like, pugilist was, like, a term for, like, hardcore adventurer, Indiana Jones, uh, mercenary, I don't know something really fancy, but I was like, oh, just a boxer. I mean, I, I can appreciate people that make boxes for a living, but when you have that high expectation, it's kind of like, here, like, something like, I want to be an astrologist to be the astronaut, and it's like, you're pretty much just in an office. Or I could be completely wrong on that in general, I don't understand science. I don't have a PhD. And why am I all of a sudden on astronauts? Like, really? Like, so much astronautry. I'm, I'm not really a man of science. I'm a man of video games. Yeah, I think this is the finale. This is like part 18 or something. Yeah, I so. feel. Or not the finale, but party team. Last of the Ross levels. Yeah. Well then. This is going to be a long, annoying, tedious uh, rest of six minutes or something. Yeah, uh, no. Okay, well. Mario. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but. That the mustache of yours, especially being in that very boiling, warm lava, makes you pretty hot. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'd make anyone hot. Even me. That's the stud face. Uh, you know what, let's make it a starfish. A stud face starfish. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. That's nice. And I, that, that, this is not nice. The falling is not nice. I mean, uh, I fell back in my seat a little bit. I actually think I figure out what that is by. It's 
weird little knob thing in the back, which I'm pretty sure if there is a weird knob thing that is not right in your chair, it is uh, something you should be concerned with and should fix if you are falling back randomly. Especially while doing a let's play, so people don't randomly are like, I can barely hear this guy, then wow! Yeah. Alright, I need the springy spring. Alright, got this companion. Can I make it across this? Yeah. And I died more again by Koopa, the Troopa. Um, yeah, Zupa. Super, but it's kind of like with a fun Z Germanic tone. But, um, you know, and it's not fine. <sighs> Alright, so, society kind of lies in one way. Money is not sustainable. It isn't. Like, you're doing your Mario Maker level, and it's like, oh, it turned into bricks, but nope, it's coins. So money is not sustainable. That's my life advice. Instead, have friends and have family and stuff amongst that nature. Friends is kind of hard one, and if you can somehow manage it, a special someone, your Wii controller. I can really get. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've mentioned my uh, Wii U tablet, but I mean, it's a, uh, it's a cool uh, piece of technology. It has. I was really proud on my 15th birthday getting this thing. <laughs> I don't know why I switched over to the Wii controller. Actually, I don't even know why I was talking about special someone's. It's a weird thing. I don't even think friends are sustainable because, I mean, it's probably by money. It's, there's no sustainability in it. The only thing you have is the ground. And, and macaroni. Because I'm a fat white hairy guy. You gotta have my macaroni. It's, it's, it's a good food. It's high in the carbos. And it's, um, got cheeses. So that's where you get your dairies, your slow digesting proteins. I hope I'm not just making stuff up when it comes to what foods are good for this in certain aspects. I hope I'm not lying. I mean, don't take my health advice for any, um, in any serious matter. Like, you know, people say, like, you can have, like, a donut every once in a while, but five donuts if, over, like, a regular period of time is not good for you, but I disagree with that. It's probably one th it's a good thing. Not necessarily for your body, but for your taste buds. Your personality helps define you. If you can define the Simpsons with the, the pink donut, then it can help define you. I guess you are what you eat. Um, and sadly, we all are human, so that means we, oh, I guess, I'm, I'm not going to get the conclusions that big, but, I mean, I'd, I'd be a huge piece of pizza. I, I eat pizza a lot. I mean, I think like part 14 and 13 are like, yes, we, we know you eat pizza. And sandwiches. Big sandwiches are very nice, and they're actually like one of the easiest food references you can make. Like, pretty much like, Oh, I need to get some food, or like something like one of the best walk away things is I'm gonna make a sandwich. And even like when I'm not even planning on making a sandwich, I say sandwich just because it implies, oh yeah, you're making food. Yep. Yeah. I guess I think I mentioned somewhere in a Let's Play like I was going to eat a sandwich, but I ended up eating like pizza or something. Uh, okay. Let's, um,. Let's give this like one to two more tries or something. Um, so we're just gonna wait for the spring. There's a lot of waiting in this. Hey Aaron, uh, where's your uh, Ocarina of Time Mario Maker review? Eh? Eh? I don't know if I actually made that joke before with you or a monster with the level concept of the, the other cool P-block techniques. 
because those were really cool, in my opinion. Kind of like how he mastered that illustration. Well, I'm just going to be right there. Well, I guess this is the end of the Ross levels. Ross has... <laughs> he has won for his home team, but you know what? Actually, you know what? Let's face it. If you're watching this, you probably were rooting for Ross the entire time. But, you know... We got more stuff to do. We got other video games. I'm thinking Overlords because I mentioned it somewhere in a part. So I'm going to keep to my promises. Yeah, so catch you guys later. See ya. Have a good day.